Hi, my name is Gina Mondesir. I am a realtor in the South Florida area with Coldwell Banker. It's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, I'm happy to do this interview. We tried this before, and technology <laughs> tried to like block block the blessing. So glad to have Mrs. Gina on, and she's going to give us the game on what it is to be a luxury real estate agent. That's top end, y'all. That's not, you know, she she's not going to find um, your bottom of the barrel. You got a feel of a deal in this crazy market we're in. So, Gina, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Blessed by the best. Happy to hear from you. And I want people to know just teachable moment how I even um, got in contact with you. It was through her um, saint of a husband who connected us when we were at a major event. I believe it was at the Phantom Blue in Miami before relocating to South Florida. So you guys make sure you talk to people, get used to talking to people and dapping them up. You never know who you will meet. And he's definitely a saint. Um, so Miss Gina, I want you to give the game um, to people because this is a crazy real estate market. Some people say the interest rates are so low, I have to buy. Yeah. If you're thrifty like me, you're like, hold on, I got to try and take my time because- yeah are still price gouging so give us the game on what you do and what makes you different and why you are the agent that they need to call if they're here in south florida well i mean that's a that's a loaded question um what makes me first and foremost this market is crazy right and it's it is a two-part fold like it is a great time to buy and it is a great time to sell and you're right these sellers some of them are getting ridiculous with raising these prices and they want what they want and they don't want to negotiate because they know that it's literally their time to shine. However, um, however, with the interest rates being so low, you know, I don't know in a few years or maybe a year from now, maybe the interest rates spike up to 4%, that same house that you could have got um, for two and a half percent, your mortgage will actually be more in a year or two because of that 4% interest rate. That's number one. And what makes me different, um, I don't know what makes me different per se because I don't want to compare myself to other people because I'm in my own lane. I always try to focus on me and what I can do to help my client. But one thing I do always say in my tagline is like, I specialize in results. My job is to get it done. You know what I mean? You came to me for a reason. You want a house, you want to sell your house and you need somebody that's going to get it done for you because not every deal is the same and not every client is the same. So I take my time, I assess you and then I make sure that whatever it is that you need, I can deliver. And if I can't deliver, at, by all means, I tell you and because I don't have time to waste and I don't want to waste your time. So it's not everybody that I meet I take on as a client. All right. And, you know, why the focus on luxury? Somebody will, you know, somebody will say, why does, why do I have, and what is luxury, you know, to you? Because, I mean, I thought I had a nice place until I go down the street and I bicycle and I'm like, they got their own airport? Oh, there's levels to this. So what is luxury? And, you know, why is that your specialty? Luxury is definitely, um, first, and foremost, first and foremost, it's a mindset. That's, that's number one. So that's what people need to understand that. Luxury is literally a mindset, mindset and a mindset shift, right? And then for me, I made that shift maybe two years, um, two years ago into my career after everything happened, like two years ago, I made a mindset shift that I wanted to focus on the luxury market is because I'm doing the same work for less money, you know? And then also I'm not seeing the people that look like me, especially in the South Florida area, 
in my in, in that space. I'm not seeing it at all. So it's more of like, okay, yeah, I want to get paid more, but also it's a motivation. Like we belong here too. You know, we know people too. We have connections too. So and all, time and time again, I actually had this um, conversation with a football uh, NFL player and I said that time and time again, I see especially athletes, Black athletes will use a real estate agent that do not look like them or represent them in any manner. And at sometimes you can't blame them because their sports agents, their managers do not look like them. So who else they're going to hire? They're going to hire people that look like their representative, correct? But at some point, when do you know, the other people take control and say, you know what, I want this person to look like me and also represent me because I hate to say it, they, they do it, the other races do it. So why can't we, you know, so that was my, that my, why can't we hire our own, you know? Yeah. So it was literally a mindset shift. Like, yeah, I want to get paid more, but two, I belong here too. Who says that just because you're black, you have to sell homes um between 100 and 300 thousand dollars who said that i don't know who said it but i love to say you know we can have it all right. um you know and we can do it and you mentioned sports agent since we've talked we've actually our licensed agents now so those age those athletes which i know some of them oh well who do we get you got plenty of black agents that you know are doing the work. So you have a choice. It's about where do you want to go um, before coming here to find our agent that we use to find this house and um, other things. You know, I went on a Yelp search and I had to find someone and it wasn't hard. You know, that just was saying it wasn't hard, you know, here in South Florida. We, we love our neighbors. So it's, it's possible. Now with you doing luxury, I have to ask because I have learned something that I haven't heard in California um, in many parts of you know the world we go to, that agents like yourself can find a home for a client, but then the client might go with a different agent, like the seller's agent. Does that happen often? Has that happened to you? We need to start shaming people and have a website because I'm hearing people's family members are doing it to them. And I just want anyone who's excited about getting in this game to learn how to have that not happen to them, if it's even possible. Right. So the main thing, no, that has not have happened to me. That's not happened to me. But the main thing is that you have to treat this business as a business. You know, most people who get into real estate, they do it part time or they say this is a supplement income or something like that. But it's not until they get into this this business, they, they realize, shit, I have to do work. I really have to hustle out here to make my money. So then if you're not if your mind, if your mind is not connecting that you are the CEO of your company, company, even if you're hanging your license with another firm, you're basically responsible for everything that's coming in and coming out, right? So with that being said, me treating my business as a business, anybody that's coming in, family, friends, referrals, you're signing documents with me. If you need representation by me, you're signing documents with me and everything is legal. Because if you go into a lawyer's office or a doctor's office or whatever, in order for them to do any type of service, you have to fill out a form and you have to let them know that this is the person that I am paying to be responsible for my wealth and health and well-being or whatever the status is. And it's the same as when you come to me. When you come to me, I'm making you sign an e either a exclusive listing agent form or a buyer's representation form because I do this full time and I don't want to waste my time. So if you're going to, if you have the, if you want to entertain another agent, you literally have to fight me out of this contract to do so. And you have to give me, you know, there's certain steps, explanations, whatever. I'm not going to hold you if you don't want to be hold at the same time, but there's certain steps that you have to take in order to get out of it. Okay, the game is real. You got to buy your way out. It sounds like right. another game I know about. Uh oh, for y'all who know, you know, you know, the blade is uh, the blade is tight. You just can't walk on it and walk off. So right, uh, yeah. And all of that goes into when you first meet with the with the person that you you want to service. 
all of that is discussed in an initial meeting and you tell them like, hey, by at any time during the transaction that you feel uncomfortable and you do not want to work with me or need my services anymore, you know, here's what you need to do in order to, to, to get out of it. You know, and if they agree, everything is black and white, they sign on the dotted line and we go from there. And I try my best to maintain a healthy relationship and open communication so they won't ever feel that way, you know? No, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now, because we love when business is handled right. I mean, there's a way of doing business, but, you know, I hear agents say, oh, but our people don't like to do that. It's not about that. Our people don't like to, you know, have delayed gratification either, but they need it. Um, reason, reason why our people are where yeah, they're at. I, I don't think nobody, right. I don't think nobody of any race wants delayed gratification. Everybody wants to feel like they're the most important person at the time that you're handling them. And that's with anything, you know, even if we go to like a, a place like McDonald's, you know, we want to be able to, you know, be greeted with a smile and felt like all warm and fuzzy, you know, like, you know what? I really like it here. It could be McDonald's, you know? Everybody want to feel like they're wanted. They matter. And they do. They do. It, it, it's just there's um, research that, you know, if you can delay your gratification, you can really expand your empire that many people are here and, you know, in their clothes and in their cars. You can, if you delay it, you'll get even more. You think of someone like a Warren Buffett or even right. a Bill Gates, you know, um, some people have nicer cars than Warren Buffett. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And, and, you, and you wonder why you're broke. Um, you yeah. know, you, you got a nicer car than a billionaire who could buy it and maybe you because of the money he has. Now, let me ask, when you got into real estate, you're from um, Fort Lauderdale area, from South Florida, everybody jumps into real estate, it seems. What separated, you know, you from the rest of the pack? to be successful? I think it's my relentless work ethic, my, um, my hunger to learn all the time, because every time I think that I know something, there's always new information that I don't know. And I just know that real estate within itself is just a motivation, because I know that if I work really hard, what the, the life that it could provide me and my family, you know what I'm saying? So what separates me for, from the pack is that I, I am, I'm relentless, like I, my work ethic, you know, and I, and I'm still, honestly, I'm still pretty new in, in the business compared to my peers and people who, who's been there longer than me, but I will outwork, I'll, I will outwork you like some form an, or another, like I will like find a way, you know, while you're sleeping, I'm up learning about stuff. I'm probably studying you because I want to be better, you know? Yeah. Now, with that success comes, you know, responsibility. You are a wife. You are a mother. What is, you know, with that success, a community give back that you are doing or that you would like to do in the future? Uh, well, I love, um, I have, I have a soft spot for children, not because I'm a mother or anything like that. Just even before I was a mom, I just, I always say kids didn't ask to be in this world. And we have one job as a parent is that's just to take care of them and make them feel safe. So if, if there's any charity or something like that, I will work with. Um, I've worked with kids in distress before, but something that correlates towards that, whether it's like building schools or giving back to children in some type of form or making sure they have stuff that they need in order to be safe. Like that's something that I'm always going to put my energy towards without even thinking about it versus anything else. Mm. Now, being a wife and a mother, you know, you have this thing now, especially in our community, oh, can women have it all? And you got men talking about what women can have. <laughs> I want to hear from a woman, what would you tell other women about having it all because some people are so like low in self-esteem that they really see this stuff on YouTube and think that it's not for entertainment. They think it's actually for, ed you know, educating them. And there is education, you know, it's even a broken clock is uh, right, you know, what, twice a day. But tell the women out there about having it all and what that really means to you. 
I would honestly say it just depends on the person. And yes, you, I can honestly say too that you can have it all. You absolutely can have it all, but you cannot do it all by yourself. That's the oh, difference. Yeah. You oh, know yeah. what I'm so um and, and that goes for men too, like we we as people or human beings, we always feel like we could do it all by ourselves and we don't need a man and this and that. I will be the first one to tell you, I need my man. <laughs> Take out this trash. I need you to do that. Um, fix up my car, like zip up my dress. I I need a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've always, and I've always, I never got why women be like, I don't, I don't need anybody. You do need help. You do need help with your kids. You do need help, you know, um, for yourself, like just some personal time to, you know, so you can have it all, but you cannot do it all. And I think once we realize as women that you cannot do it all, it will start the process of like beginning to try to heal and figure out a, a different ways to get what we want. You know what I mean? It's the little things. Like if you're a working mother and you're working nine to five and you're a single mom and you have to pick up your kids and, and make dinner and this and that, and maybe the house is a mess, hire a freaking maid. Hire a maid, get their ass in there every two weeks if you can afford it, put it part of your budget. Some of them even charge like $90 for two hours. Get that done. So that's one less thing that you have to worry about. Who the fuck says that you have to clean up your house too? feed these kids, put their ass to bed and do their homework? Who said you have to do all of that? You know, nobody, there's no written rules. So don't be ashamed or feel like, you know, just because you, you know, outsource different services, you know, you're a, a bad mom and we have that mom guilt. You're not, you're not, you're doing the best that you can for what you have. And it's okay to get help, you know? Amen to that. Amen to that. You know, and you know, you guys have to understand. Gina has, you know, uh, connected her her life. You know, she's on the Grant Cardone kick. That's something that she does. She's a, a woman who um, also has. I, I read this in your your thing. You know, you ended up on a yacht party with Fat Joe. Um, yeah. You know, of of all all things for a charity <laughs> event. And it's just, you know, you get yourself connected. Where do you think that started in life for you? Were you like, were you an athlete? Like, what was it that gave you that drive and that hunger? Um, my mom, you know, my mom is um, of Haitian descent. And she, well, she's Haitian and she's um, an immigrant of this country and just coming here. Um, and my mom's also a twin and seeing them always you know, struggling and stuff like that. And I always tell people that my mom didn't come to this country for me to be a slave. You know what I'm saying? She slaved for us already. So why would I continue to do, to do the same thing? And, and I have a daughter now too. So I, I want her to be better than me. So my mom is still alive and, you know, just seeing her work ethic throughout the years, just, and, and, she, and she did the best that she could for well, whatever America gave her, she did the best that she could. And I just knew that I never wanted to be in the position as her, but I, I wanted to be better than her. But I also wanted her to be like, you know what, my, I'm, I'm proud of my daughter. Because so, so, some of the risks that I took, like even deciding to work for myself, she didn't understand that shit. I'm not going to lie. She was just like, why? Just work a job, you know, <laughs> you pay your bills, you don't have to struggle and all this other stuff, just work any job. It doesn't matter as long as I was getting a consistent check. She did not have an a, a overstanding of me trying to do this on my own. She didn't understand that. But now that she see the fruits of my labor coming in, you know, she said that, you know, she was, she's proud of me. You know what I'm saying? And I think out of the 33 years of my freaking life, that's the first time I ever heard something like that so it was she was really um she was really the motivation and also my husband my husband has a ridiculous work ethic you know what I'm saying and just seeing him just be as disciplined as he is in all aspects of his life and even if he's tired he doesn't complain you know and I'll complain like oh my head hurt oh my back <laughs> and he'll just come in and be like it is what it is it's, it's just life you just got to do what you got to do and and persevere and and she mentions her husband again another uh shout out um 
if you guys want to check him out um, for motivation and your fitness and vegan meals, put in I and then N-I-T-Y. Check him out because he definitely, you know, when, when they talk about high value men, I'm telling you, this guy is like something different. He's something different. And <laughs> it's, and he, when I met him, he was doing, um, you know, a laborious job. And some people would say, oh, he's a blue collar. You can't be high value because he doesn't make. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. You got it wrong if you think it's just about the value of this money and this currency, whatever that is. So, she, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful combination. I love to see it. And if you guys need to declutter and, you know, detox your mind, Gina will sell you the house. Her husband will get you right on the fitness, the meals and the music to <laughs> open up your vision because a lot of you are blind because you're letting this money cloud you. You're letting <laughs> you and brands think that you are higher than you are. And that's not what this thing is about. Tell the people, you know, when your mother was proud of you, I mean, all parents just say that to their kids today, right? No matter where they're at. Because it opens, like, what did that do for you when she was like, I'm proud of you? <laughs> you want me? Okay, so the truth, when she said that she was proud of me, I looked at her and I was just like, you know, I was just like, oh, thank you. But I think that I'm just so um, self-motivating, you know? When she said it, it was just kind of like the icing on the cake, but it wasn't really it didn't do anything for me as much as somebody else would who, who need that type of validation. I'm just not going to lie. It was just like, oh, thank you. I'm, I'm happy that I heard it before she, you know, before she leaves this earth, God forbid. But it was like the little icing or the cherry on top on the, off of everything that I have done so far and I'm still doing. But um, I think because I'm so like, you know, I'm proud of myself. Like, shout out to me. Thank God for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and and you gotta you gotta there's too much hate in the world. You gotta big up yourself. You know, yeah. even when people, I'm sure when they go to your Instagram, they'll say, Huh, wait, is this a real estate agent or a model? What is she? <laughs> and, and and that's what happens when you get a BS in fashion and marketing, you know? <laughs> you take one skill and you use it everywhere. So y'all, you know, get get on code, get on game. Tell the people where they can reach you and we will have links in the description box. And you can also tell them, you know, when your book is going to come out as well, if you know the release date. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, God. What book, sir? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you can reach me at I am Gina on I am Gina Mondesir on Instagram. And all my contact information is there. My phone number, my email address will lead you to me. And also you can send me a personal message on Instagram as well. And I do respond to all DMs. Yeah. And let that DM be about some serious business where you're yes. ready to sign that contract. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's all good. I'm glad you guys have been blessed by the game. No matter if you're listening or watching, watching or listening. Share this with somebody. It will change their life. Be blessed, y'all. Are you tired of the rat race in America? Are you ready to visit the motherland to relax and rejuvenate? Are you ready to explore all that Africa has to offer? Then check out the brand new Diversify Game Academy course, Prepare for My First Trip to Africa. Are you worried about being able to afford the trip? We got you. We will show you how to travel either on a budget or as a baller. Learn how to stress the value of the USD. Did you know that 100 United States dollars is worth over 1,000 South African Rand or 10,000 Kenyan shillings or 54,250 West African CFA? Are you worried about taking your kids? Get the game from Kelly Cash, a bona fide world traveler, having traveled to almost 20 countries, several of those in Africa. Get the game on taking your kids on their first trips. Learn how to find the best tickets, get the visas, and plan your own adventures in Africa. Don't let Eddie Murphy have all the fun. Plan your own coming to Africa trip starring you, produced by you, and featuring you. If you are ready for a life-changing experience, sign up for our course today, Diversified Game Academy. Get prepared and purchase at DiversifiedGame.com.